So I'm just gonna go ahead and record this video because I recorded some sample videos and talking about my overhead rig for what I use for my top downs for my YouTube videos and everything like that. And I'm transferring the files from the SD card to the computer and it's a couple videos and stuff like that. And since uh, the actual file sizes and stuff coming from the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II, uh, it's gonna take a while. So I decided to you know, check in with you guys and I wanted to say that I kind of digging this lighting setup that i just stumbled on because i'm recording some b-roll for a product review or whatever that's coming up and it's not going to be a traditional one it's going to be kind of like an overview of my thoughts of using the product and everything so hopefully it goes well on the channel who knows but again let me know in the comments down below what you think of this lighting setup or wherever it's actually pretty pretty nice in my personal opinion i hooked it up and i hooked, put back the sony zv e10 mark ii or wherever from my tripod and everything and i was like I was gonna turn on this backlight and when I hooked it up and I saw it like in my OBS preview I was like yo this actually kind of looks decent or whatever so let me know again what you think of this setup or whatever do you think it's like too dramatic or something like that I, I don't know I like the overall look of it but essentially what I wanted to say is uh again I am not a camera channel or whatever I know a lot of people have been subscribing because of the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II and me talking about like the Alpha 6100 and like you know the mark one and all the cameras and stuff that i have and how to use it and everything there's going to be like twofold of a question what do you want to know about the sony zv10 mark ii like how i'm using it or anything that you have questions on or wherever that i could possibly try to answer again i am a novice i'm a beginner i'm not somebody who's an expert at cameras but i am somebody who's been using cameras you know obviously to do youtube regardless if you think that's like successful of my channel size and what kind of videos and stuff i put out so i could probably potentially help in a little bit of a way or wherever so just let me know this is kind of like your way of i guess directly getting an input into a video um if there's more uh, questions or something that i haven't covered in the past then pretty much let me know another thing is is that um i'm thinking about doing more videos like i said i just recorded the top down like rig that i use and everything and it's more of a laid back it's again not a whole bunch of b-roll i'm not going pro uh, super close to products and all that stuff i don't think i could really do that with this type of thing but i kind of want to like talk about more so those products like that not like completely structured how my stuff is usually structured and it's just like me trying a wireless lavalier system trying to make the audio sound good and everything like that and just recording a i would say a video in a sense of you know covering something that's useful for my type of content creation or just gear that i use for my type of content creation and it's not necessarily like setup guides or like a setup walkthrough or anything like that it's more so i take a component of what i use and i talk about how i use it and i talk about the effectiveness of it and like is it worth the price and stuff like that and what it allows me to accomplish you know what i'm saying because i think that a lot of people when they start watching the channel and stuff like that they will get a reference and enough evidence there that i don't have to like try to come up with these fancy like examples and stuff like that because it's like if you've watched any length of my videos you would know how that product have, has helped me out or how i've used that product like the overhead rig you've seen enough top downs of me using it or whatever for months at this point you've seen like obviously the lighting that's coming from it right now and everything like that you've seen how i swap from the top down to you know the talking head angle and everything like that like you already know pretty much that i i've used it extensively and what you could potentially use it for for your own content creation needs but i kind of want to do that like maybe talk about you know like I said, the light that I might use or something like that, that I find useful, the kind of the pros and the cons of it, my whole thought of like, like I said, the price and everything like that and what I use it for in my setup. And you know what I'm saying? It's not like a traditional or oh, a company send out a product, I'm doing a review. It's more so I purchase a product for, like I said, my own use case scenario. And after using it for a while, what do I think about it? Kind of like a general overview. Is that something that you guys would be interested in? Again, sound off in the comments. Again, I'm just waiting for files to transfer, so I don't really have anything else to talk about. But again, I was super surprised of how just generally nice, even with like not having the light shining from behind me to give me that background separation. 
I think that this actually looks kind of good and I would still be able to use, you know, this lighting or whatever for my top downs. And it's not even a light that's on a soft box. It's just the CB100C from newer. Yeah, it's set to like 10%, just bare or wherever with a little reflector on it and it's just shining at me. And then obviously I got the Godox ES45s or whatever for the top down or wherever and they're just on because I was doing some work over here and I needed background light to show off the little pole or whatever for the video. So yeah, just let me know like if that's something that you guys would be interested in as far as, you know, seeing a video like that where I, I have got a product and I've been using it for a while for content creation. And cause I'm not sure when people watch this uh, channel and stuff and they watch my product views and they watch my stuff, I'm not sure what type of content creation you're doing. I don't know if you're just streaming and that's it. I don't know if you're looking for products for just like your office and that's it. And maybe you just work and you know, you need like a microphone or something like that. But yeah, just let me know in the comments down below you know like those two things what you want to see about the sony zv10 mark ii that might potentially help you out if you're thinking about picking it up or you have it and you had a question on it and maybe i've ran into that issue or maybe i know a little bit of knowledge on it and i can you know distribute that out to people or you want to know about some gear wherever that i'm using like maybe okay now that you have another camera what are you going to do with the alpha 6100 since i've been using the mark one now for streaming and the mark two obviously for talking head videos and using it a little bit for time lapse and stuff like that and probably this is going to be like my main camera for like almost everything what are you going to be using you know the alpha 67 uh, 6100 for you know what i'm saying stuff like that and i've already made a video talking about the alpha 6700 versus the sony zv e10 mark ii and i kind of mentioned it in a previous video when i talked about mental health and stuff like that uh i don't know if i'm gonna post that or not and if that's something interesting to people because like i said it's around like 30 minutes and i don't know if people want to watch that because it's more of a discussion video on why the mark ii is a better choice than for i would say 80 to 90 percent of people out there than the alpha 6700 and why it would be a waste to spend more money just to get that camera because everybody else is saying it you know what i'm saying so again it's more of a discussion video but it's so lengthy that i don't know and it has good points and that's the like, lowest i can get it to include all the good talking points as far as discussing it because i don't know how people can do it as far as like limiting it down to like 10 minutes or whatever on something like that especially a big purchase as far as the amount of money for both cameras you know what i mean so again let me know in the comments down below about all that stuff and hopefully you guys have been doing good. I am actually being a little bit productive today as far as like, like I said, recording multiple videos and recording this one and just, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually having a good day. You know, it might be just the bipolar or whatever, the uptick of the bipolar type two or whatever, and I'll probably come spiraling, crashing down pretty hard when the depression hits. But I mean, I got a decent amount of sleep. My son actually slept for a long time. He slept from like 12 something in the afternoon after being up forever all the way into like almost seven o'clock at night. So, and I was able to sleep somewhat roughly with them the whole entire time. Um, albeit I still woke up from time to time because you know, sleep apnea, but um, I still feel a little bit well rested. So I wanted to get some stuff done. You know what I'm saying? Before I have to go watch them and everything. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go live stream. I don't know, or edit this video or something. So, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think overall about just, you know, those ideas that I threw out to you guys and yeah i just hope everybody's doing good and again i don't think i've said it yet but thank you guys so much you know I'm saying the newcomers have subscribed to the channel you know like i said we hit over 1400 subscribers and it's just crazy to me that people actually are supporting me like the nice comments and stuff like that like i always get the trolls i always get the mean comments all that stuff it's it's nothing new but when i see like somebody saying something nice or wherever just randomly expected like unexpected or wherever i would say not randomly expected randomly unexpected comments uh and it's something nice and it's like somebody i've never heard comment before i don't know if they're a subscriber or not or whatever just it, it goes a long way man it goes a long way you know what i'm saying when you're when you're doing something like this because i don't get to see whoever's watching this video you know what i'm saying like i don't get to have a conversation with that person or you know i don't really get an interaction with the viewers but seeing people like watch the videos is good but when you see somebody comment or whatever and they're being a genuine person and stuff and it's not like something like like a stupid question or like they're just being mean or you know whatever they're trying to be 
aggravating or whatever to get you to you know be compatible when you comment back and stuff like that because they know you have a mental issue and they want to infuriate you for whatever reason like just having those genuine people want to you know talk to you about something yeah it's it's pretty nice man it's pretty nice so thank you guys so much for that with that being said i'm not gonna take up too much of your time i'm just gonna rambling because like i said i keep looking over i'm waiting for the files to import <laughs> their large files that's one thing that i would say is that i need a faster sd card reader man if you have a if you have a suggestion for a faster sd card reader uh that's going to transfer you know 4k high fidelity footage or wherever that's encoded and all stuff let me know in the comments down below if you have one to that's like something that you could suggest or whatever to me so i can make this part faster that's why i started doing the whole obs record thing because trying to sync up top down and, and microphone eqing and doing all that stuff and then you have to like literally take all those informations out of each camera's sd card and then put it in the computer it just takes forever whereas when i'm recording straight into you into obs if i need to tweak this microphone a little bit i can do that in editing but it's already ready to go that's why i like about this setup so much so yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one though again i'm rambling bipolar type 2 i'll catch you guys in the next one y'all take care have a good test today god bless you and yours and deuces everybody much love bow, 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 bow.